Hey guys, this is Undercover Dudes all the way from Down Under, and today I'm going to show you guys the five settings that you need to change right now in Crunker.io. Now, I've been playing Crunker.io for almost two years, and with all that experience, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna go and show you some a few tips that I think will really go and impact your gameplay. Now, more so, these tips are gonna make it easy for you to play the game, see more on your screen, focus more on your gameplay, and in the end, go and get more wins. And if you guys enjoy these tips make sure to go and smash that like button right now and subscribe for more Crunker.io content. Now guys if you haven't played Crunker before or you haven't signed up for an account make sure to go and sign up for a Crunker.io account using my link in the description below. It's one of the best ways to support the channel and I thank everybody that tries out this game using my link in the description below. And also guys if you want to play Crunker in the browser with unlimited FPS and no lag then download Brave Browser using the link in the description description below. Once you go and download and install it, make sure to go and disable the ad blocker for Crunker.io so you can support the developers. Go to the line up here and turn off the shields. And also, if you want to go and get unlimited FPS, go to your icon right here, right click, right click, go to properties, and then at the very end, go and add dash dash disable frame rate limit and you will get unlimited FPS when you play Crunker.io. But with that said guys, let's get straight into it and show you guys these five really, really cool settings. Now as you can see, I am running custom Crunker.io settings. My gun looks a little bit different, the map looks a little bit more vibrant and saturated, and there's a lot of small tweaks that I've done to my settings that really go and fit my personal play style. Now if we go into the settings right here and then choose it from uh, custom, change it from custom to default, you'll go and see that the game looks dramatically, dramatically different. Different. And these are the settings that you guys will be seeing when you first hop into Crunker.io. And there's a lot of stuff to comment on. Now, as you can see here, a lot of things have changed. My crosshair is different. My weapon offset is different. Overall, the game looks significantly different to my custom settings. But there's a few things that really, really in particular need to be changed when you first start playing Crunker.io. Now hopping in game here, the first thing that you might notice is whenever I go and get a kill, it goes and pops up with some points. And if I hit tab, you can see I've currently got 100 points. Now I've got 220 points, I've got another kill. But you might be asking, how many kills or deaths do I actually have? By default, those actually aren't shown. Now to actually go and show how many kills and deaths you have, you need to go into the settings. So what we'll go and do is we get a few kill kills here. We'll go and rack them up. We'll hide it into the corner and change our settings. Oh, this guy's like, you're completely underappreciated. I love all your vids. Dude, thanks so much. Man, that's really cool, but getting back into it, to go and show you how many kills and deaths you have, you've got to go into the display section in your settings, and then scroll down to about, you know, a little bit down the way, and you will see show kill counter, show death counter, show score counter, show street counter, these four settings right here. So if we go and turn on show kill counter, we hop in game, in the top right hand corner, it will go and show how many kills you have. If we go back in and we turn on death and score and streak, it will go and pop all of those up. So if we go and hop in game right now and we go and get a kill, what it will go and show you is an addition to my kill counter. And if I go and die, it will get an addition to my uh, death counter, so on and so on. Now, this is really important because when you start a kill streak in Crunker, it will actually go and announce in chat in five kill intervals. So five kill streak, 10 kill streak, 15 kill streak, so on and so on. And when you get close to that 25 kill, kill streak when people say 20 kill streak they are going for you so you need to be extra careful play back a little bit and make sure you can actually go and secure that nuke now another really important thing to show in that display section is if we go and scroll down to basically the same section as you can see you've got show ping is turned on but show fps is not and now in the top right hand corner my fps is visible make sure to go and turn that on that will just go and show you you know if you're lagging or whatnot and you can also go and see just how well your computer is running crunker.io and that my friends was my first tip pretty pretty important if you want to go on big kill streaks now my second tip is not related directly to gameplay but more so your general crunker experience and as you can see it says custom because i have configured a few settings but we'll go back to default just to make sure everything is fresh and what we're going to go and do is go over to the render tab and as you can see the resolution that you're playing it is by default 0 0.6 
Now, what that actually means is 0.6 of the resolution that your monitor is displaying at. For me, I have a 2560 by 1440 monitor, so I'm at 0.6 of that resolution. And as you can see, things are a little bit pixelated, a little bit blurry. And if we go down, it will be even blurrier. 0 0.2, everything looks really blurry, really pixelated, not very nice. But if you have a decent PC and make sure to go and turn on the FPS setting to make sure it doesn't affect your system too much, bring it up to one, bring the resolution up to one, and the game just looks so much better. From 0.6 to one, massive, massive increase in just visual quality. Now, while we're in the render section, there is a ton of settings that you can go and modify. Aspect ratio, anti-aliasing, post-processing, there is so many to go and customize. And if you're a type of player that has a very, very bad PC, you could potentially go and turn off some of these settings, like for example, particles and shadows, and you could turn amb ambient shading all the way down to zero. And that will make your game look not as good, but it'll give you a little bit more performance and if you're on a Chromebook, that could actually go and get you closer to that really, really nice 60 FPS mark. But in general, my recommendation is to put the resolution on one, and if you have a really good computer, chuck it on two, and it'll make things look really, really nice. But for the majority of players out there, make sure to put your resolution on one when you first start playing Crunker. All right, so our game is feeling a little bit better. It's looking a little bit better, but the thing that we need to go and change is the elephant in the room, and that is the crosshair. The default crosshair in Crunker.io is absolutely terrible, and we need to change that. So what you need to do is go to your settings, go to the display tab right here and scroll down to near the bottom and you will go and see the crosshair option and by default it is on the default setting and you can actually go and increase the shadow thickness I suppose if you want that makes it a little bit more pronounced but in general we just want to get rid of anything that looks like this default crosshair because it moving around like that is distracting and it really doesn't help us with our gameplay. So go back to our settings and the first thing I want to go and do is change it to custom. I want to go and change it to custom. I want to go and bring back the shadow thickness to one and we'll just hop in and see what it looks like. And as you can see, that's definitely a lot better. It's a white cross in the middle of the screen. It's a little bit too big in my opinion, but it goes and does the job. It goes and does the job. That's not too bad. What we can go and do next is go to layered and that goes and actually combines the movingness of the default crosshair with that static crosshair in the middle. Now this is definitely an improvement, but we still just want to go and make sure that we just have a nice little crosshair in the middle of our screen so we can go and aim properly. So go back to your settings right here. We're going to go and skip image. We'll come back to that later and we'll go to precision. Now with precision, this is what I definitely recommend you guys go and change your settings to. Now what I'm going to do is show you guys the crosshair settings that I currently use. So feel free to go and experiment and tweak them to whatever you like. So let's go into our settings right here. The first thing I'm going to do is change my color. It's approximately just like in that green section. Doesn't really matter exactly what it looks like, but I have a green crosshair. For shadow thickness, I put it on zero. For thickness, I put it on 1.6. For size, five and gap one. And that is what my crosshair looks like. It is small, it is nice in the center of my screen, it does the job and I just go and put it on someone's head and I go click click boom. Now you guys might be saying, UCD, whenever you go and aim down sight though, your crosshair disappears. And that is true. So whenever you go in ADS, your, your crosshair disappears and it's replaced with your iron sights. Or if you have a reflex sight on your weapon, so if you go here, you go to attachment and you put on a reflex sight, the reflex sight will actually be shown. Now since I'm showing you everything, let me show you with the reflex sight. When you go and aim down sight, it just has a red dot in the center. And that looks pretty cool, bit of Call of Duty like action right there. But Personally, I don't like using a reflex sight, and to be perfectly honest, I don't like even seeing my weapon when I ADS. And that leads perfectly into my fourth tip, and that's how to not show your weapon while aiming down sight. So as you can see here, I aim down sight and my weapon is visible. We want the weapon to go away while we're aiming because we want to focus on our crosshair in the whole game. So what you need to do is go to your settings right here and just type in ADS. Type in ADS and it'll come up with a few settings under view model, but the one you want to worry about is right here. Hide weapon on ADS and turn that on. So when we, whenever we go and aim down sight, a weapon goes and disappears and we have a blank screen so we can just focus on our enemies. Now the elephant in the room is, 
you see that your crosshair has disappeared as well. Well, we actually have a really, really nice feature to go and fix that. So go back to your settings right here, then go down to display, and then scroll all the way down to your crosshair. And as you can see, there is an always show option. You turn that on, and whenever you're going and playing Crunker.io, you aim down sight, have a look at this. Your weapon disappears, your crosshair is just shown, and that means you can focus just on the game. There could be a, some, somebody on your right that your weapon is blocking. The b weapon takes up a lot of space in Crunky, you don't really know it. And with a game so fast paced like this, you need to see everything, and I highly recommend you do this. It will really help you out. Now basically every weapon in Krunker.io besides from the Akimbo Uzi relies on aiming down sight. You really really need to make sure that you're ADSing so you can go and hit those headshots because if you just hit fire, you can't hit anything. You hit fire, you just can't hit anything in this game. Now guys, I've shown you four really, really cool tips that I definitely think will go and help you out while you're playing Krunker.io. Now the next thing I want to go and show you is more of a psychological tip and it can really, really go and help you out. Now if we go and stand here, as you can see, when you go and see an enemy, they have their health bar, their name, and their level. Now that gives a lot of information about the player. Arguably a little bit too much. I know this guy is level 20, but what about if there was like a level 100 in the game, or some, some guy that's really, really, really high level? That could really just put you out of it. If the level 100 is dominating you, you'd be a little bit scared. This is good because you're just not scared about anybody. They're just like, oh, it's just another player. They could be the same level as me, and you don't really know. This also gets a bit of clutter off your screen. It doesn't go and show the name or the level. And this is a really, really cool tip just to go and put you in the right state of mind when you start playing Krunker. And if you go and get dominated by somebody, you know, it doesn't really matter what level they are. They could just be a nice you know a really, really skilled level 20 or something like that in the end of it everybody's just another player that you need to try to take out and that my friends is my top five settings that you need to change right now in crunker.io if you enjoyed this video make sure to go and smash that like button and subscribe for more crunker.io content but other than that this is undercover dudes all the way from down under out